If you're studying for the AWS Cloud Practitioner or the AWS Solution Architect Associate, I need you to listen up. I'm going to discuss briefly the Amazon VPC. Amazon VPC stands for Amazon Virtual Private Cloud. And you need to understand this because it's a fundamental networking service within AWS. The Amazon VPC is essentially a logical private network analogous to something you would build in a data center. However, it's a lot more sophisticated because it's software defined. There's no hardware you need to deal with and you can interact with it by way of APIs. You can attach things to it like internet gateways that would allow traffic in and out. Uh, Amazon VPC also exists within an AWS region. An Amazon VPC can span multiple availability zones, and you can define subnets within those availability zones. You can establish route tables and then assign those to various subnets, and you can decide whether those subnets are private or public based on your routes within those route tables. Something else you can do within an Amazon VPC is attach endpoints. You can attach gateway endpoints that would be able to give you um, private access to Amazon S3 and DynamoDB, or you could attach interface endpoints, which is private link, which would give you private access to a range of additional AWS services. These are just a few of things that you need to know about Amazon VPC. And if you have any other questions, let me know.